animals behind me need no introduction. They have been one of the foundations of human lives for a very long time. But little do we know how much cattle do to create our landscapes and provide homes and food for so many other animals too. Growing on soil based on limestone, these beautiful grasslands in the Cotswolds are full of wild flowers, butterflies, bees, and many other creatures. This abundance of life thrives on soil that is actually fairly low in nutrients. So when the soil and the land is fertilized and improved for farming, the diversity is lost. Over the last hundred years, these grasslands have been diminished to a tiny fraction of their previous glory, which means that the bees, the butterflies and the beetles have gone too. And we all know how much we need them. Back from the Brink and their partners are committed to making sure that this classic English landscape survives and thrives. And you know what's so great about all this beauty in life? is that it all exists because of grazers, like the humble cow. Butterflies have a phase in their lives when they are larvae, and at this time they can eat maybe one or two types of plant. Now these food plants rely on the cattle to keep the grass down to grow. So no cattle, no food plants, no butterflies. And she doesn't love a butterfly. This plant is the kidney vetch. And there, nestled safely inside, is the tiny egg of a small blue butterfly. When the caterpillar hatches from the egg, it will have the food and protection it needs right here. Okay, so this isn't the most fragrant place I've ever sat, but can we get down and dirty with this dung for a minute? Can you see how many insects are getting their lunch right here? There's certainly a lot of poo to go around, so the dung beetles and the dung flies are doing really well. And this means that the guys who feed on them can also thrive. This gorgeous little boathouse is at the National Trust Woodchester Park in the Cotswolds and it's almost 260 years old. Now in this time, bats have been using the roof space to roost. Human and bat living alongside each other. Human providing safe haven, bat providing pest control. Now we think of the human and the natural separate, but past, present and future, we're all connected. So here we are, back at the start of the circle, back with the cattle, whose dignified, steady presence here supports all these animals. Thanks, guys. Back from the Brink is one of the most ambitious conservation projects ever undertaken. Its aim is to save 20 species in England, all of whom are nearly extinct. It's the first time ever that so many conservation organisations have come together with one focus and the power of working together is really making things happen. Much of this success is down to local people. So far, over 2,000 people have volunteered their time to Back From The Brink. This amounts to over 4,000 days or 10 years of working days given for free to help our wildlife and our wild spaces. Incredible. And you could do it too.